really quick, um, last time on Dragon Ball Z, what we did, okay, so we have this, right? We wrote this down, okay? And we said H deals with our left, right? And K deals with our up, down, right? Okay, up, down. All right, so we see that this graph starts here. So we know that K is going to be which, positive or negative? Negative. So we can go ahead and eliminate D, right? Okay, so now we wanna look at our H values, okay? So underneath the radical, remember, it's gonna be opposite. So if I have a negative one underneath the radical, this is actually saying right one. Underneath the radical, this is saying left two, okay? Which one of these would be to the right? Oh, you no, no, no. Okay, let me try this again. Since it says negative underneath the radical, this is moving to the right one. Which one of these equation has the graph to the right? A. What are y'all putting C? Okay, so the equation that we just had was what? It was the square root minus four? Okay, we're looking at the domain. So the domain is dealing with our x values. This point right here is gonna be one comma negative four. Okay, the reason why I know this is because that's our h value and our k value, one comma negative four. So our domain is gonna go from one to positive infinity. Our range is going to go from negative four to positive infinity. Now, in behavior is going to be as x is approaching positive infinity, what's happening to our y values? Where are they going? Uh, yeah, so x is going to positive infinity, y is going to, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know who this is. This is Alina. Oh, yeah. Hey, go to class. Oh, okay. Hey, go to class. Love you. Bye. All right. As X is approaching one from the right hand side, what is Y doing? It's getting closer and closer to, okay, negative four. Because remember, it stops right here, right? Is it increasing or is it decreasing from the left hand side? Increasing. And when is it increasing? So it's going from one to positive infinity, right? So that's going to be the same as the domain. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, so it's not decreasing at all, it's just increasing. Sometimes it'll be just increasing, sometimes it'll be just decreasing. It won't be both. Okay, so on this first one, our transformations that are going on, we have negative two out front, we've got the one here, we got that negative two. So what's gonna happen is we've got a reflection across the x-axis because of that negative. We've got a stretch of two because it's two. Okay. And then we move right one and down Our domain is gonna come from that H value. So we have domain is gonna be from one to positive infinity. Our range is going to be from negative infinity to negative two. The reason why I know that is because this guy is negative. Brackets mean that it touches it, parentheses means it does not touch it, it's not oh. inclusive. Mm -hmm. Yes, the opposite of the. It's probably in a second. I'm a magician. Oh. For transformations, we don't have a number out here in the front, right? No number. Okay, we've got a negative x plus one. All right, so what we can do on this one, 
If you're not sure like what the H value would be in here, we can go ahead and take this and plug it into Desmos. So it gives us a graph. So going into Desmos. Let me live my best life. Best life, yo. Okay, square root of negative X plus one. What's the last number? Okay. All right, so you see how this is facing this way now. Okay, so this negative right here is going to be a reflection across the y axis. Okay. Uh huh. Right. Yes. Okay. So it's a reflection across the y axis. That's going to be the first transformation. Okay, reflection across the y axis. Okay, the next thing that we have is this one right here. Okay, now I need you to keep in mind that your X is negative. So that also switches this sign right here of this one. So this is the funky one. Look at what the number is right here. It's positive one. Notice how I've told you in the past, hey, flip the sign and it should be that. But since there is a negative underneath the radical, this is like the one instance that that's not the case. Does that make sense? Okay. So oh, we're going to have a uh, move to the right of one and down two. Now, what's going to be the domain on this one? Well, the domain goes from one to negative infinity. Negative infinity, a one. And the range goes from negative two to positive infinity. Yep. Let's. I did offer the domain, no. the range, yes, because it's going upwards. Okay. What I want you to do is do the last two. Try those on your own. And then we're going to check our work. What are the transformations going on here? We got a reflection across the x axis. We've got a move left of five. And we've got up three. Okay. So our, our domain, infinity to negative infinity, take it. Oh, it is a cubic root. I'm sorry, I didn't look at that. So we're gonna have negative infinity to positive infinity. Same thing for our range, right? Um, Jared brought up a good point. Since it's a cubic root, that is what it's going to be always for cubic roots, okay? On the last one, we have a reflection across the x-axis. We have a move right of three, up six. And we have a shrink of one half. Okay, that's gonna be this guy out front. This is the first time that we're seeing shrink instead of um, stretch. Okay, what about our domain? It's going to be three positive infinity. Okay. And our range is going to be negative infinity to six. You're getting good? Good. Very caught my mistake. So he paid attention to the fact that this is a cubic root and it's not a square root. So these guys should be negative infinity to positive infinity. I apologize. Is that always the answer? Yes, for cubic root, that's always the answer. You gotta make sure that you pay attention to whether it's a square root or a cubic root. I apologize. Thank you, Jared. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna graph all four of these and the in behavior, and then we gotta determine if it's increasing or decreasing. So let's go ahead and graph the second one. Let's go ahead and grab the second one. When you type this, I'm gonna fight all y'all, letting you know. Okay, all right, so when you type this in, you're going to put the cubic root. The way you do that is you go to keyboard, go to functions, and you're gonna scroll down to where it says int root. Are you serious? C, V, R, T? 
Are you serious? BRT. That is so cool. I was today years old. That's so fascinating. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we got X minus one on this one. And then we got minus two on the outside. So I would go ahead and graph this function and you can just do a rough sketch. That's okay. So it's gonna look something like this. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Yep, real rough sketch. Boom. Okay, let me live my best life. Okay, over here, we're also going to have something very similar. It's gonna look like this, roughly. It's fine, it's fine. It's a real rough sketch. Uh, yeah, there you go. Not really. All right, and then this last one is going to look something like this. Three, six. Okay, so my question to you, is this guy increasing or decreasing on this first one? Decreasing. So we can go ahead and eliminate that little box for increasing. Y'all are killing me. On this next one, are we increasing or decreasing? Yeah. Uh, try again. Decreasing. decreasing. Okay. And then for this one, are we increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. Okay. And on the last one, what are we doing? Decreasing. Okay. They're decreasing. Remember, it's like getting in on Six Flags ride. Are we going up or down? We're going down. Okay. Best picture of your life. Okay. For decrease, for the intervals, we're talking about our X values. And this is happening the entire time. So we're going to just use the domain that they give us. Okay. So that's going to be negative infinity, a positive infinity. That's going to be negative infinity to one. And then this one's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. And this one's going to be three to positive infinity. Notice how I put parentheses around all of them, not brackets. The reason why I don't put brackets is because you cannot decrease at a specific point. You have to do it over a continuous interval. Okay. For in behavior. Okay, for in behavior. That's as X is approaching positive infinity. What's happening to my Y values on this one? Okay, so it's going to negative infinity. As X is approaching negative infinity, so as we move to the left, what's happening to our Ys? They're going to positive infinity. Okay. On the second one, as X is approaching two from the left, what is Y doing? What is it getting closer and closer to? Nope, it stops right here. So what's our lowest Y value? So as we're going to the right, I'm sorry, as, our, as we're going to the right, we're going to positive one from the left-hand side and your Y values are getting closer and closer to negative two, okay? As X is approaching negative infinity, your Y is approaching positive infinity. Can you try the last two for in behavior? So as X is approaching positive infinity, where's Y going? Fantastic. As X is approaching negative infinity, what's happening to Y? Fantastic. As X is approaching three, from the right hand side, where is Y going to? No. So as we're approaching, as we're approaching three from the right hand side, what's our Y value? Six. As X is approaching positive infinity, Y is approaching negative infinity. Okay. 